Hey, what's up? My name is Linus, and today I'm here with B. Hey guys, my name is Picasso, and I'm a Los Angeles-based fashion and portrait photographer. And today we're going to be shooting Cinestill's brand new limited edition red scale film, Red Rum. We're going to be shooting it in the studio today with multiple different lighting setups to really show you the creative possibilities with Red Rum. I'm going to be shooting with my Pentax 6x7, and B is going to be shooting with her Mamiya RV67. Now, I think we should just get to it. Let's go. Okay, we've got a couple different lights here. We've got a red gelled light, a light diffused up into an umbrella, an aqua colored gelled light, an old school tungsten light, and a light with a slight purple back here to just add a little bit of color to the background. It's gonna be really interesting to see how all of these colors are interpreted by a red scale film. I'm gonna be shooting at 400 to start out with and I might drop down to 100 to show you the variable speeds of this film. Okay, I'm gonna start off by metering Scotty here in the chair. I've got a 55, F 3.5 lens, which is pretty wide, and I think it looks really cool down low. Uh, 3.5, 125 at ISO 400. Okay, three, two, one. That's so sweet. All right, I'm gonna do another one down here. Three, two, one. I'm gonna shoot down, so yeah, just lean back into the chair. Sweet, awesome, thank you. Cool, B, you wanna give it a go? All right guys, so I'll be shooting Red Rum at box speed 200, and I'll be using my light meter here, as well as a tripod, because I am getting a little bit of a low shutter speed and I don't want any camera shake happening. One, two. Okay, we're gonna change our lighting setup. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that looks sick, yeah. I like it. All right, so this is our second setup, and I'm just metering light a little bit. Let's see, we're still getting the same. Maybe can you stand in front of the light? Oh, that's kind of cool. One, two. Okay, ready? One, two. Okay, we've changed our lighting setup a little bit. I've got this red light pointing at Scotty, and we've got him under the umbrella from another angle. For this wide angle, I really want to get the entire umbrella and maybe have it look kind of dramatic facing up. I'm going to shoot down low, and then I think I'm going to shoot above the umbrella to get a cool perspective, like almost like he's holding it. Like straight on at the camera. Oh, that's it, yeah, that's so sick. I'm going to shoot one more, but I'm going to bring the umbrella down onto him. I'm actually gonna drop it down to a 60th of a second. Oh, this is probably the coolest shot that I'm taking. Three, two, one, don't move. Do a portrait as well. Three, two, one. Cool, and stay right there. Here, look, look the same way you were looking. This is kind of what I was going for originally. Bring it down. Bring it down, no, kind of. Yeah. Make sure I gotta get, I can't let the light fixture get in it. Yeah. Oh, there it is, there it is, that's yeah. sick. Three, two, one. <laughs> so this is our next setup, and basically I just wanna create some, like a cool double exposure type of photo. Can you please yeah, sit on the floor for me? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, oh, awesome. Relax, yeah, relax. Like mm -hmm. One, two. This is our next setup. So we got a light just shining down to this couch right here. And yeah, our lovely model is coming in. No moving, one, two. Sweet. Yeah. One, two. So for this shot, I wanted to create something super fun and have a cool shape. Um, so this gel, this teal gel is pretty cool because it's rectangular and it's kind of like shaping his face. And I kind of I kind of really like that. And so we have a light that's going above his head and shining a little bit of his hair, a little bit of that hair light. I'm changing up the aperture a little bit. I'm shooting at 5.6 at 250. Yes.
Okay, so I'm shooting at f2.8 at 125th of a second. I'm rating my film at 400 speed, and I've just got these barn doors covering most of the light. I just have one little thin strip of light poking through. Boom. Two rolls of red rum done. I cannot wait to see these. So we got a couple shots left and here we are using just one light shining on our model for today and Linus is going to use his hand to create some cool shadows. One, two. Sick, and that was our last shot of the roll. Let's go Red Rum, let's go. Okay, so that's a wrap for our shoot with the limited edition Red Rum. Thank you so much B and Scotty for coming through. Make sure you check out their Instagrams down in the description. They're both incredible photographers and this guy just happens to model too. So again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.